Have you ever traveled to a bike trials competition? It is a lot of fun. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. Stick around. I'll show you. Today I'm heading out with Tony to Arrowhead Bike Farm out in West Virginia. Tony's going to help with setting up and running the event. Unfortunately, I can't compete because of the injury in my arm. Uh, the tendon injury is still pretty bad, so I can't really ride. But I figured it would be a great opportunity to go out and vlog the event. So it should be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to it. I knew I wasn't going to be able to ride in this trials competition, so at first I even hesitated about going. But I wanted to tell the story of what it's like to travel to a trials competition to show the people and the vibe, not just the trials riding. But I have to admit, I was feeling a little bit anxious. The only recording of trials competitions I'd ever done before was for our local events, never somebody else's event. I wasn't even sure the people that were riding would even be receptive to me filming them as they competed. But at the same time, I figured this was a fantastic opportunity, and it was also a good dress rehearsal for going out to Bentonville, Arkansas for the Bentonville Bike Festival in June. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. Tony's sprinter van is going to be our home for the next several days. He converted it himself, and he did a nice job. It's got a bike garage, running water, and a propane stove. Goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, we love you. After we throw everything in the van, it's time to head out on the road. One of the great things about driving with Tony, he likes to stop for coffee. Good coffee. All right, it's time for a coffee and bathroom stop. This place should be pretty neat, quaint little town here. So we'll uh, give it a check out. There's a beautiful little uh, bridge with a waterfall under it coming up. And in the springtime, we might even see people fly fishing there. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is pretty wild. Look at this. <laughs> no, we're not in New England. Not New England anymore, no. Phew, the van is still there. <laughs> After grabbing our first cup of coffee in picturesque Clinton, New Jersey, we got back into the van and headed on down the road towards the Pennsylvania state line. Alrighty, time for more coffee. The sequel, Coffee 2. <laughs> From southeastern Connecticut to Fayetteville, West Virginia is about a 13-hour drive. So we figured instead of making it the whole way in one go, we'd stop for the night and camp out in the van. All right, we're in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Stopped for the night to have something to eat. So we're getting dinner ready now. Uh, so it's uh, kind of interesting. My first time with the van life here camping in the van. So this should be pretty cool. It's the spot. <laughs> New Target Bikes t shirt on here. Oh, nice. The last quarter. All right, day two, we're on the road after camping out for the evening. So we're heading out to Fayetteville to the Arrowhead Bike Farm where we're going to help set up some of the courses and uh, get ready for the competition tomorrow. That's it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you think it'll rain? No, I think it's going to stay dry. Yeah, I think you're probably it's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. As we've been driving, we've been hitting some thunderstorms and uh, some pretty heavy rain. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully it's a little bit drier by the time we get there. Otherwise, we're going to have some pretty slippery obstacles for this comp. That's my other right. Yes. The gorge in front of us there. Okay. This is making some sense. Oh. That must be the bridge. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> right, we just did a quick tourist stop. There's supposed to be a pretty wild gorge here, so we're going to go take a look and uh, check out the view. Here we are. Theoretically turn left out here, but 
Might be the last thing we <laughs> might be the last thing we do. Exactly, <laughs> it's looking kind of crazy. That's just cool. It's kind of neat. It's looking promising. Yeah, there we are. Holy moly! The destination is on your right. Arrowhead Bike Farm. Nice. Arrived. After 13 hours on the road over two days, it was finally time to meet our hosts, Travis Brown and David Krupp. At the bike farm, we have uh, a full functioning bike shop. We do anything from repairs, sales, uh, and also a variety of tours, clinics, and educational programs for uh, just like teaching people how to ride mountain bikes. Uh, we also have a restaurant and bar right uh, on campus and a campground as well with uh, a bunch of pump tracks. Uh, a jump line and a few trails, just a bunch of fun stuff to do on bikes. I started about five years ago. Um, and yeah, I just I started riding trials on a uh, mountain bike. When I first started getting into mountain bike, I just had uh, like a $600 entry hardtail and uh, started doing more technical stuff in the driveway and then discovered some YouTube videos, Danny McCaskill, and I realized that that was actually a thing, you know, it was called trials. And then I started practicing more uh, and then from there I got my own trials bike and yeah, just kept progressing. Last year, uh, it was my first time going to a trials competition. It was a Bentonville Bike Fest uh, 2021. And yeah, entered in the sport category and just uh, love the atmosphere and the community. Uh, it's my first time meeting other trials riders too. Uh, so that was just really awesome and inspired me to uh, get better at trials and to do what I can to uh, expand the community and just get more people on trials bikes. Here's the bike shop here at Arrowhead. Looks like David did pretty well last year at Bentonville. So uh, a couple of years ago, when David first came to the bike farm, he let me jump on his trials bike for the first time, a uh, competition trials bike. And like three days after that, I bought one on pink bike. And so as the program director here, we've had a lot of flexibility in the type of events and skills we want to teach. And so trials has become one of them. So we have created a space for now David and I to ride trials together and just to get more folks knowing about it. I mean, we have a bunch of kids out here all the time trying out our skills area and it's just another way to engage with cycling and it's not as well known as it should be because it is just so fun. So uh, that led to us starting the trials and tracks competition, which uh, this is the first year of it and we're going to have uh, our trials comp for all the skill levels, uh, pump track races, as well as short track mountain bike races. So we're trying to get as many people out here as we can for a hot day tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, totally. I think trials definitely helps um, hone in some mountain biking skills just with like slow speed precision and control, uh, brake control, moving the tires around. Yeah, it definitely transfers over into mountain biking and yeah, can open up some more lines in technical riding. Just mountain bike feature that we use for our classes and stuff. Yep. Uh, but this section, the gates are going to start up here. So they're all going to start here. Yeah. Blue and red are going to go up the skinny or through that gate. Yeah. By the time we had arrived on Friday, Travis and David had the sections pretty much set up. We started by walking through the different sections and taking a look at some of the different features and ideas we, they had for the different gates. I've only been going down this way. But so one of the two directions. We, I'm a little nervous. That area is a little bit tighter than this one. So we'll, we'll look at that. Yeah, we'll take a peek at that. Yeah. Um, and then I think we're going to have a blue gate here. Um, We're pretty good together. I, I'm pretty, as far as reinforcing things go, I'm pretty sure it's all set. Awesome. I'll have to, maybe you could double check it. Sure. Then we need to write the numbers on the gates for the next thing. Okay. In August, I think. And that was kind of when we started, you know, putting it all together. And honestly, it was like, okay, we want to have a trials competition. How are we going to get people to go? And then we added the other components. So it right. definitely started from wanting to do trials and then wanting to attract some folks. After checking out section one, we headed over to section two to continue the process you there. Talk through this one? Um, sure. It was like navigating through that stuff and yeah, over here. Little tight turns and bike control. That's yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. 
So, so what are the colors for the different gates? The, the skill levels. The yellow tape them, are the beginner lines, the beginner gates. The yet. blue is the intermediate gates, and the red are the expert gates okay. or advanced. Yep. Right, cool. Thanks. Yeah. Each of the section gates were marked with tape, but the direction matters through the gate, so we had to mark with arrows which direction the rider should travel. Swag. And I don't know if you're going po points earned or dabs, but, you know, points earned. Hey, points yeah, I like yeah, points earned because it's like positive reinforcement. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Yeah. It's just, it's a little bit hard to explain the rules is what I'm running into. Um, but yeah, we're trying to, we figured it'd be best to just be more modern. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got the section set up for the competition tomorrow. So we got a little bit of time to mess around. So I'm just going to take my bike around and kind of just tool around, take it easy. My arm's still injured, so I can't compete tomorrow. And uh, I don't want to mess up my arm any worse than it already is. So I'll probably just find some simple skinnies or little things to ride on. But anyway, this place is pretty neat. Should be a fun time tomorrow. The guys here are great, and we're looking forward to it. Well, that wraps up part one. But make sure you come back and check out part two, competition day.